The Nightmare Before Christmas has been a holiday classic ever since its release in 1993. The only problem is, fans have always had trouble deciding which holiday it belongs to. The film's gothic visuals and horror-inspired characters make it quintessentially Halloween, but the plot and theme of the movie are undeniably Christmassy. This debate has gone on for so long that even the film's director, Henry Selick, has had to go on the record and say that it's, drumroll please, a Halloween movie. But we're going to go ahead and disagree with Selick to make a more unusual argument here. Actually, it's time to declare The Nightmare Before Christmas the quintessential Thanksgiving movie. Sure, the movie doesn't explicitly deal with Thanksgiving and its plot, but hear us out. As the halfway point between Halloween and Christmas, Thanksgiving is the perfect time to watch a movie that's a little bit about both of those holidays. Thanksgiving is also desperately lacking in quality entertainment, so it's always a struggle each year to think of a good movie to watch on the holiday that's not planes, trains, and automobiles. Even if it didn't intend to, the film actually does a great job of depicting what Thanksgiving is all about, as it explores the holiday's core themes of thankfulness and appreciating what we've got. Thanksgiving is the time to express gratitude for what we have, whether that's family, friends, or good health. Thankfulness is literally in the name of the holiday, Thanksgiving. The Nightmare Before Christmas explores this very theme through the character of Jack and his existential crisis. And I, Jack, the Pumpkin King, have grown so tired of the same old thing. Jack is tired of Halloween and everything about it. His dissatisfaction with being the Pumpkin King is a lack of thankfulness towards what he has in his life. But after discovering and nearly destroying Christmas, he abandons his quest to become Santa Claus and doubles down on being the Pumpkin King. That's right! I am the Pumpkin King! Appreciating the gift he didn't realize he had and being rewarded with the fullness of feeling thankful. One of the central aspects of Thanksgiving and the Thanksgiving movie is self-reflection and review of the events of the previous year. Jack captures that reflective, analytical mood as he tries to better understand his place in the world and what he wants to contribute. You could say that Jack's adventure even shares a vague similarity to the story of the Pilgrims. Both are searching for freedom or to escape a status quo, looking for a new world. But Jack's search for a more satisfying life only makes him realize how great his life in Halloween Town already is. Jack's lesson to stick to what he knows directly opposes what Halloween's about, which is being something that you aren't, literally donning a mask to hide your true identity. And we know that Jack ultimately fails at Christmas, since he's not managing to embody the purely cheerful and joyous Christmas spirit. The most commercial holiday, Christmas places a lot of emphasis on gift giving. But as we see, Jack's idea of a great present demonstrates that he doesn't quite have a handle on that idea. So Jack's arc doesn't really represent the themes of either Halloween or Christmas, as well as it does the pure and simple thankfulness of Thanksgiving. When Jack discovers Christmas, the extent of his exposure is a three-minute song and dance, so he doesn't have the slightest understanding of the holiday. Once he returns home with the plan to create his own Christmas, he has to rely on his familiarity with Halloween. So this leads to his creating a holiday that combines the macabre aesthetic of Halloween with the merry glee of Christmas. Much like Jack's Christmas, Thanksgiving shares aspects from each holiday. It falls dead center between them, both literally and metaphorically. Visually, Thanksgiving shares a lot of its aesthetic and color scheme with Halloween. It features earthy tones like orange, brown, and green. The Nightmare Before Christmas gets a lot of mileage out of this similarity halfway through the film. After returning from Christmas Town, Jack locks himself in his home, desperate to understand the holiday. The town, which previously looked gray and low contrast even in daylight, is suddenly more vibrant. We see a rich, earthy color palette start to appear. The shift in the film's use of color visually reflects the change of seasons from early to mid-fall. So this alludes to the transition the town is about to undergo from celebrating Halloween to Christmas. But what we actually see looks a lot more like Thanksgiving season. In addition to its fall connections with Halloween, Thanksgiving shares thematic links with Christmas. The emphasis on family, gratitude, and joy. Themes that Jack's story also touches on. While he doesn't have a literal family, the citizens of Halloween Town stand in for his family, which he comes to appreciate, however untraditional it may be. How dare you treat my friends so shamefully! 
So if Thanksgiving is in some ways a hybrid of its neighboring holidays, Jack's take on Christmas could be considered a creative interpretation of Thanksgiving. It would be an example of telling its slant, as poet Emily Dickinson would put it, or finding a personal, untraditional way of expressing an idea. And the truth of Thanksgiving is effectively revealed through the story of using Halloween to celebrate an unusual Christmas. Right after Jack and Santa Claus exchange greetings, it even begins to snow in Halloween Town. Happy Halloween! As the citizens enjoy their newfound winter wonderland, we hear a combined rendition of This is Halloween and What's This? This is Halloween, 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 what's this? What's this? The two holidays have fused into a new one. Still, before we can confidently declare this a Thanksgiving movie, we have to consider the state of the genre, or lack thereof. We have to ask, why aren't there more good Thanksgiving movies? And what even is a Thanksgiving movie? Does it have to explicitly feature the holiday celebration? And why is it so hard to do a Thanksgiving movie well? There are a few problems to overcome when you center a movie around a Thanksgiving dinner. There's nothing inherently cinematic about sharing a meal. Some of the more forgettable Thanksgiving movies rely too much on the iconography of the holiday. Turkey, fall colors, family reunions, without really giving us much new beyond recreating the dinner we might just have had in our own homes. Or they give us sappy emotion without really earning it. Going back to how Emily Dickinson would look at it, these on-the-nose Thanksgiving movies might not be telling the story slant enough. Another option is to lean away from the sentimentality and let dysfunction creep into the family get-together. This is probably more dramatic and might result in a better movie, but it's perhaps less in the spirit of Thanksgiving, so it might be hard to argue that this is still a Thanksgiving movie rather than a movie that just features some scenes around the holiday. Meanwhile, there's no reason that a Thanksgiving movie actually has to feature Thanksgiving dinner at all. The theme of thankfulness might be served better by different images rather than just watching people consume a meal. And the introspective nature of Thanksgiving, the activity of taking stock of your life and reflecting on on events from the year, that can be represented through a lot of different stories. As anyone can see, we're simply meant to be. The few good Thanksgiving movies there are often don't feature the holiday very much or show it only in passing. You want the bird? Go in the alley and eat the bird! The same issues apply when it comes to classifying something as a Christmas movie versus just a movie that features a Christmas scene. The content and themes are really what decide holiday movie status. Whether it ever meant to or not, The Nightmare Before Christmas expresses the central ideas of Thanksgiving in a unique and enjoyable way. Just like Thanksgiving, it bridges the gap between Halloween and Christmas, and it leaves the viewer in a thoughtful, grateful place. When considered as a Halloween or a Christmas movie, it's just a another classic in a crowded space. But as a Thanksgiving movie, it stands out alongside only a small handful of other must-see post-Turkey films. Thanks for watching, and if you like our videos, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Just click this link here. We spend a lot of time making these videos, and every little bit helps. And of course, the very best thing you can do is subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our latest videos. 